So while everyone is sending their clients custom PDFs, monthly reports, emails, spreadsheets, I'm gonna show you how to build a custom AI powered app so that each client has their own custom experience. This one change will increase your retention rate and will reduce the amount of time that it takes for you to deliver for your clients because rather than them having to ask you via email, hey, can you send me the numbers? Can you send me the spreadsheet? Can you send me the data? You just give them their own client interface, which takes a couple minutes to build. And then they have access to the data. They have access to what they need in real time. And you know, all you have to do is take a couple minutes to set it up. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build this using an app called Base44. This is a lovable alternative. I think it's actually better than lovable in many ways. And so I'm gonna show you how to get your clients specific data. I'm gonna show you how to set up APIs, you know, any of the different integrations that we need to build. It's super simple to set up. Um, and so let's dive right in. So this is a sample of what the app could look like, right? We have, you know, here's the total revenue, you know, here's how many clients that you've generated from working with us. Here's the growth rate month over month, the different, you, you know, if you want to see the back end like API connections, integrations, you can do kind of a status report. So this is what we have done in our own software where we can say, you know, are all the AP, API connections working? Are they not? Um, but if you're not technical, don't worry. Um, the ability to set up an app like this is really, really simple. So they can see like, okay, here's all the different API integrations we have set up. Here's the different endpoints. For our clients, we do client acquisition and lead generation. And so we specifically connect to Instantly and Smart Lead. And so you can see all these different Instantly API endpoints are set up. You know, everything is working. I can configure it directly inside of here rather than having to build this out in custom code. I can have, I had the um, Base44 app configure all of these for me. I didn't have to put any of this information in. And then the client, you can actually export reports. You can actually send the, you know, the client reports if you still want to, but they can access it all in here. They can download it directly from here so that you don't have to send it to them. So without further ado, let's actually dive in and start building this out. So let's say I go into here and I go into base44, go into uh, base44.com. Basically, we can go in here and we can just like any other AI app, it'll, we can go and, you know, create this app using a prompt. So I'm basically going to say, you know, using voice to text, I'm going to say, hey, I run a client acquisition or AI powered lead generation agency. Basically, what we do is we send emails for them. We write their campaigns. We get them new leads and new clients um, and i want to build out a dashboard that will let them see all the stuff that we're doing for them this is the total number of leads sent this is the total number of opportunities generated this is the total number of you know the reply rate the close rate and i want us to be able to access the instantly api so that we can pull this data in in real time and so that we don't have to manually update this so we're going to use the instantly api to pull in this data um, I will give you the endpoints below. Um, and then I want you to configure this and show this in a visually appealing way. So you can see here, I added all of that in, you know, I can change the styling if I want, you know, let's say I want to, you know, I kind of like this transparent one. Um, so if I go here into this transparent one, this one also looks pretty good. So maybe I add, you know, glass morphism as the style, and then I click go. Now you, you're going to see that just like an, another app builder, we're going to go in here and it's going to go and actually build this app from start to finish for us. So I'm going to give this a few moments um, so that you're not waiting here. Um, and I'm going to come back once it completed its first task. You can see it's kind of developing a plan for itself, creating a color palette, you know, and then it's going to give itself a bunch of different things to do here. So you can see with a very simple one shot prompt, we got this result, you know, not bad. Lead sent, opportunities generated, reply rate. Obviously this reply rate is pretty crazy and the close rate is pretty average, um, but we're gonna add in the real data here in a second. So you can see, you know, maybe we're running different campaigns with different amount of leads sent per campaign. We have instantly sync over here. Um, it didn't do very good with the CSS over here. And so we'll basically prompt it to update the style. So, and then we'll also, you know, prompt it to connect the API. So first I'm going to start out by saying, please update the style. The left sidebar is unable to be seen because the text and the background are the same color. So make sure that the text is viewable on the left sidebar. So I'm actually just going to start with the stylistic elements so that we can, you know, 
access all the different buttons and see them. And then once we do, I'm going to then add in the direct integrations with our different analytics platforms here. And so this is going to be thinking you can see in the last one, basically what it did is it added all of these, you know, campaign performance, all the things that I asked it to, it had this color palette based on just a, you know, pre-built template. Um, and then we essentially have all these different things that it asked itself to do. So it said, okay, campaign entity, client entity, layout, it completed all of these different tasks for itself. Um, and then it said, you know, some errors were detected and then it fixed it by itself without me having to do anything. And so now we're going to see that it's going to edit the layout again. Um, and so it's going to say editing layout, you know, it's going to be editing the different code in here. So you can see all this code that it's generating for itself. I'm going to go back to the preview here. And you can see it's starting to fix some of these things. Um, boom. Now I'll just say, you know, can you change this to a different color? Okay, now the next step is to um, sync everything with instantly. So you can see the sync with instantly button. You know, we're going to have, if you go to the dashboard here, you can see the different APIs that are connected. You know, we can basically just go in and update this with the instantly API. So basically what I'm gonna tell it to do is I'm gonna say, you know, update this API. So I'm gonna go to the instantly API. You know, I'm just gonna give it a screenshot of the endpoint that I want to give it. So I'm gonna say, you know, there's the screenshot. I'm gonna copy this. All right, and I'm gonna say, you know, here's the instantly API that we want to pull data from. I want you to pull as much data as you can from this API endpoint. And I want you to pull all campaigns. So leave the campaign ID blank. Then I want you to update the data inside of this web app using that endpoint and then use the API key below. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my API key. And now I'm sending this. So, you know, here is the API key. It's going, it's going to, you know, pull this, all of this API data in. And you can see that, all right, would you like me to set up? Yes, please make sure that the front end dashboard analytics are connected to the back end um, API analytics so that we're pulling in live in real time data. Um, I don't need the CSV import feature. And just make sure that this endpoint is set up correctly with instantly. And so boom, I'm just, it's creating it. It asked me a couple questions. I basically said, I don't need this feature. I just want it to be connected to the analytics. So now it's gonna go in and you can see that it's gonna go and, you know, essentially just go and update this API endpoint. So I'm gonna let this go and update. I'm going to wait for this to update and then I'm gonna come back once this is finished. It's adding instantly API to the utils.js file. Okay, so now that the instantly integration was set up, it ran and you can see here that it's actually pulling in this live data from the campaigns, right? So if I click sync, it's going ahead and syncing with the API integration. You can see the endpoint, everything is set up successfully and boom, all of the data is updated. Um, this is live data from campaigns. You can see, you know, different campaigns running um, inside of the campaigns. You know, there's various different information, the clients, um, the analytics. I believe I still have to uh, update the clients and campaign data, but you can see the front end of just like the base uh, analytics that we we're looking for are right here. Um, and then if we want to go more in depth, we can, you know, fine tune the actual analytics page here. Um, but this is exactly how you can create this custom app for each client. Now, if you go over here into the dashboard, what you can then do is go into the user section um, and then you can add your client as a user. They can log into this app um, and you can, you know, export this to GitHub. You can share it. You can publish it directly on here. There's multiple different ways to publish it and to share it with the client. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you're getting them the live up to date stats on their campaigns, on the different you know things that you're running on a global level for your campaigns you know maybe it's a, you're doing marketing lead gen you know whatever ai service that you're offering them giving them a custom dashboard like this is going to increase the quality of the client relationship so much higher it's going to feel more like a white glove experience rather than just like you know someone that's you know ragtagging something together 
and this is gonna you know increase the the lifetime value of your clients the deal size that you can get and so at the end of the day this is exactly how you build this app using base 44 um, so i hope you enjoyed this build i hope it was valuable to you thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one